So, let's let him, oh, or he can let himself in. Okay. Good job, Kukui. And look around, why don't you? Kukui, you let yourself in and you're not even wearing a shirt. Come on, man. Hey guys, Pony here with episode one of the Pokemon Sun Let's Play. I've been waiting so long to do this, and I'm so glad that this is happening. So, let's jump right into this. I do not speak any of the languages except this one. Yeah. <laughs> Settings have been saved. Okay, now let's get into this. Shh, shh. I'm getting a call from Kukui. Shh. Shh. Shut up. I have a message from the Alola region's own Professor Kukui. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I think I'm funny. Hang on now, give me a sec. Give me just a sec. Hey there, good afternoon. So, the day has finally come that you're moving to Alola. Moving that to the middle of the screen. Alola is a region made up of several islands. That could be the reason the region is chock full of nothing but rare Pokemon, yeah. There's no shortage of cool Pokemon out here in Alola either. Such mysterious creatures. Why are you saying that after all this time? I want it. I want the Rockruff. Give me that Rockruff. I want it. You find them all over. In the grass, in the caves, in the sky, in the sea. Here in Alola, we love our Pokemon. We depend on them heaps, too. Some of us even battle with them, and we call ourselves Pokemon Trainers. Rockruff, can you wait until I'm done talking to play? <clears throat> Alright, I gotta ask you some questions about yourself so I can introduce you to everybody. So, which photo do I use for your trainer passport? Um... This one? No. This one! Alright then, I'll let you spell out your name for me. Okay. This is- no. Already messing up. Sweet. There's my name. So, you go by Brendan? Yes. Yes, I do. There I am! 10-4, good buddy. I'll let everyone out there know that you're on your way. Brendan. Yeah, that's the name that hits you like a thunderbolt out of the sky. Woo! Can't wait to see you in person then, cousin. Okay, bye. Brendan, come out with these boxes. What's going on here? As if I don't already know. I am a day late, but that's because I spent the day of the release playing the game with Zack and other doing other things. But the game's really cool so far. I've played through the... I'm at the end of the second island on Moon. So I'll have a little heads up on storyline stuff, but I'm probably going to not play as much outside of this Let's Play. <clears throat> I might try to do this daily, too. I don't know. I'll think about it. Willie, run! You gotta get the Malasadas first. They're gonna get them. He's trying to stop you from getting the Malasadas. They're gonna get him. Oh, and how, too. You might barge in and try to get some. Well, looks like you got an access pass to your Malasadas. A teleporting pass. I think I'm funny. Uh, Pokemon Sun. That's so amazing. I'm so excited to be playing this game. Yes! I'm so excited. Three months later. So, the introduction... I guess the reason the intro... No, because... I was going to say, you introduce yourself, 
and you're on a video chat with Kukui, and you're currently unpacking boxes from a truck, I'd assume, or like some moving utility. Um, <clears throat> so how does that make sense? Was that just like three months before that happened, Lily got in trouble, and now it's now? Ah, I just can't help feel... Ah, I can't... I just can't help feel the warmth. Ah, can't you just feel the warmth? The first day spent under Lola's sun. It's so warm and bright here. But that's enough of that. Time to unpack all these boxes. Because when everyone's playing this game, they're like, it took you three months and you haven't even unpacked yet. But no, it's just a plot hole. Meowth, can you go get Brendan for me, would you? Meow. Meowth, that's right. No, I'm not not going to do that. No. I'm not going for that. <clears throat> My throat is killing me for some reason. It's so weird seeing from the short Meowth per bleh, perspective. What's with that creepy ditto? It It's kind of... It's dumb because they like did too much on the black on the eyes and mouth. So it just looks creepy. Dude. Why are you sleeping both on the covers and in your clothes? Moir. Did, did that cat just try to roar at me? Eh, I'm tired. Huh. The scent is somehow oddly comforting. Why the scent? Of all things, the scent. It's a cute stuffed doll that looks like a Pikachu, the mouse Pokemon. It's a Wii U! It has a gamepad with a screen. You could have just put the Switch there. We already know it exists. You check the book your father gave you. Adventure rule number one, open the X menu with the X button. No, I thought it was the Y button. Adventure rule number two, record your progress with save. There's a moving box. There are moving boxes full of your belongings. The Ditto Pillow and Poke Toy are both covered in Meowth's claw marks. Well, uh, but I wanted to use it. Ooh, I love the house. Does mom have her own room? Weird. You were out like a light, weren't you? You ought to be full of energy by now. So, Brennan, are you pumped to meet some Alolan Pokemon? I guess. Oh, you. Someday you're going to learn to have a wonder... To have a little wonder in your life. We live in the Alola region now. The beautiful islands everyone wants to visit. I'm sure the Pokemon living in a place like this must be friendly, right? And the people, too, apparently. Was that the doorbell? That's probably Professor Kukui. Why don't you let him in, Brendan? Okay. I want to explore a little bit. Or not. There are mounds of malasadas waiting for you. Join us if, join us to enjoy some malasada, mal, some marvelous malasada. Wow, I can't read. Hello, fans. Let me tell you that today. We're having dulcet, dulcet, delicious sweet malasadas. Let's dig in at once. Hum. Um, mm, it's it's just so it's as sweet as hair plucked from a slurpuff a single bite will send you straight to heaven you should definitely share one with the, with uh, share with one of your Pokemon that loves sweet flavors tune in again tomorrow for more munchies there are mounds of malasadas waiting I mean in context munchies aren't always a good thing uh huh. Wow. Forget what I just said. Uh, so yeah, mom has her own room. This is actually kind of cool. A closet, hangers, an actual bed. This is creepy if I were to lay in my mom's bed. Oh, wait, what? It's Meowth's bed, but it's hardly been used since Meowth just sleeps in your mom's bed instead. <laughs> like an animal like a household animal does. So, let's let him, oh, or he can let himself in, okay. Good job, Kukui. And look around, why don't you? Kukui, 
You let yourself in and you're not even wearing a shirt. Come on, man. Hey there, Brendan. The name's Kukui. Glad to meet you, cousin. You gotta be tired after that long trip all the way here to Aloha. You feeling any jet lag? We sure are a long way from Kanto out here in Aloha. It's still daytime out here, yeah. Professor Kukui. Yes, we just arrived yesterday. Hey there, Mom. Why? Why? Okay. In a creepy standpoint, yeah, why are you calling her mom? But also, why not just give her a name? Don't the moms always have names? I just let myself in. Oh, and call me Kukui, would you? Now you're on a first name basis. Kukui, stop trying. Welcome to Alola. Of course, I still remember seeing you battle the Indigo Gym Leaders back in Kanto all these years ago, you know? I've been in love with Alolan Pokemon ever since, so I finally decided to come here myself. Huh. I was supposed to be visiting there for research to research Kanto Pokemon moves and all. I thought I knew a thing or two about battling, but those Kanto Gym Leaders proved me wrong. Hey now, Brendan. Let's get a move on to the next town over, cousin. It's time for you to meet the Island Kahuna and get yourself a Pokemon, yeah! A Pokemans? Yeah, sure. The Kuna who lives in the Iki Town is always in the Iki Town. Is always happy to give any kid who wants to have an adventure their first Pokemon. Yeah, but don't try taking on the Kahuna yourself. The Kahunas are crazy strong Pokemon trainers. They're unbeatable for folks like you and me. They'll simply give my boy a Pokemon. Then those Kahunas really are worth meeting. Cool. I'll take a fire cat. Hurry and get ready, Brendan. Oh, hurry and get ready, Brendan. Your bag and hat and things are still in the boxes in your room, I think. And didn't you leave your copy of the adventure rules on your desk in there, too? Yeah, but I don't care about it. Oh, I bet you've got a style and hat that'll match mine, yeah? Yes. Yes, I do. And it will immediately be taken off once I can get to the next town. Probably. I'm probably just gonna do a haircut and buy a couple of pieces of clothing. Yeah. I know, I'm thinking, I'm literally looking at my character and thinking, what clothes do I want? Maybe like, blue t-shirt and white shorts? You look ready for anything now. Have a good time out there. That started out as Kukui's voice and slowly shifted to mom. I'll be sure to have everything cleaned up and put away by the time you come back to your, with your new Pokemon. Woo, that's a style and hat, cousin. Oh, Hawaiians. Okay, so, let's do this. Kukui, your mom there. She's pretty cute. She's sure looking forward to getting, to getting your Pokemon. So let's go to Iki Town. Time for you to get a real nice Pokemon from the Island Kahuna. Oh yeah! Okay. So, can we go? From experience. Uh, hey, the heat getting you said go this way. I did that the first time too. I just ran that way. From experience, I know this is long and stupid. Now that's more like it, yeah. Welcome to the paradise. Welcome to paradise, cousin. This is the Alola region. Oh hey, that's the the text box from the first trailer. Cool. Folks here in Alola get along by living together with Pokemon and working together too. After all, you got you can go nowhere. Or you can go nowhere. Nope, you're not allowed to leave this town. You can go anywhere, yeah, as long as you get Pokemon helping you out. That's why we gotta get you to the Kahuna. First, we're off to Iki Town. Come on, it's not far off if we cut up here. Okay, let's just get there. It's been almost 15 minutes. Oh, what do you want, kid? Can I have your dog? Are you the same kid that was running by? Hey, you! You look like you're having a good time strolling around Alola. You make me want to dash around, too. I bet I can go even faster than you. Holding B or B dasher. Wait, what? Holding B will make me a B-dasher. 
and it makes me look pretty dashing too. That was sad. That was sad. <gasps> yes! My favorite person in all of the games! The power of science is amazing! Nah. Nah, he's not... He's not that chubby. Um, he's just... He's just a large dude. The power of science is amazing! A simple press of a button, you can trade Pokemon or battle with people around you. He's not Tierno. And I was hoping I would avoid that. But I guess it's only appropriate that it happened in episode one. So, Brendan, you're loving the level already, yeah? Yeah. That's what I like to hear. The more you love Alola, the happier you'll be. Oh yeah, look, there's a little... Looks like an excited Alolan trainer's come to us. Professor Kukui, you gotta recommend another move for me sometime, please. Why? Why? You already know what moves you want to use, yeah? You come to me next time your Pokemon learns a new move, and then I'll battle you. Can I just get a Pokemans? Can I just get a Pokemon already? See? See that? If you had a Pokemon with you, you could dive into the tall grass here, yeah? To try and catch some wild Pokemon to add to your team. Speaking of adding to my team, they they added that feature that they had in the uh, catching challenge in the demo where like if you have a full team, you can add the Pokemon to your party. I think it's really cool. And trainers go up against one another in battle with the Pokemon they love. Come on, young goose! <laughs> Hiff. Hiff. How's it? The new kid that just flew in? Let's have a Pokemon battle sometime. Having Pokemon gives you a whole new way to communicate with other people, see? Now let's get it moving. Iki Town is right over there. And I want a Pokemon. Please? Now? I love how you get an introduction with every new area. At least I've seen that so far. And we're here. This right here is Iki Town. And there's that place. This town is where folks come to worship the Pokemon that watches over Mele Mele Island. Tapu Koko keeps us all safe and happy, see? This isn't even much of a town for Pokemon standards. Like, it's a single path. A... A stage and a few houses huh what's going on here we're supposed to meet everybody right here yeah maybe they're all back there on the hollow trail that's what it is that's a thing from the demo but like it just looks slightly different when you go in that's where the ruins of our guardian deity tapu coco are yeah brendan do me a solid and go find the island kahuna i'll wait around here and make sure we don't miss each other the island kahuna you can't miss him. He looks just like a kahuna. And what does that look like, Kukui? Really? He looks just like a kahuna. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, Lily. Really? What was my voice for? Really? You want to go up to the ruins? I don't know what y you hope to find there. Sure. It's like slightly higher pitched than the little boy voice. Let's just follow her. Cause I want my litten. Mahalo Trail. Yeah, this is the same area where you uh, rode the Tauros up to the mysterious old man. And I need to, when we get to a Pokemon Center, transfer my stuff like my Greninja and all the stuff that I got from the demo. You can't come out. We'll get in trouble if anyone sees you. Cool. So, we keep a going. Oh, she's running somewhere. Why are you even here? A 
Was it, was it really hard? Was Cosmog, like, pulling you by the bag? Like, why are you here? Cosmog, that was just stupid. You're like, yeah, oh no, oh no, this is bad. I'm in a predicament. Lily, why so scared? Ah. What's wrong? Or wait, I'm gonna go with who are you? Never mind me. You have to help it, please. Save Nabby. Ah, because if you say what's wrong, she just goes like, huh, help. She's a lot more timid. Pew, 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 pew. The spear are attacking it, but but I'm afraid to go out there. My legs feel like they might give out. So you're like, you do it. <laughs> That's my job. Tip toe. Oh. Did you know if you just do that normally? At least it worked in the. It works normally. I don't know if it'll if they'll allow it yet. Yeah. If you just spam tap B. If you just like repeatedly tap B, that'll happen. It'll start to trip. I guess that's where they got this mechanic from. Or they got the tapping B mechanic from this scene, probably. Well, we're screwed. Oh, okay. We're gonna die. Oh, never mind. We're good. Hello. Where'd you come from? Where even is he? Cause he just flies off, but where do you go to? Like, like where did you go? The clouds? You can't exactly sit up there. Except our main flying. Pew. Oh, thank. Oh, oh, thank goodness. You tried using your power again, didn't you? Oh, Nebby. You know what happened last time you used it. You couldn't move for ages after that. I don't want to see you like that again. No, I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry, Nebby. I know you were trying to save me that time, and I couldn't even help you in return. Pew, pew, pew. What was that? It's a shiny. Not that kind of shiny. Pew pew, a sparkling stone? It feels almost warm somehow. Cause Tapu Koko just sat on it. P please forgive me. I'm so grateful that you, that, uh, I'm so grateful to you for helping us out of that dangerous spot. Are you the kahuna? I think this stone must belong to you. You obtained the sparkling stone. I wonder what that is. Oh, oops. Don't tell anyone about this, about seeing Nebby. It, it's a secret, okay? Come on, into the bag, Nebby. Nebby's like, oh man, but I was having fun. <laughs> well. He just willfully went in there. Maybe he's weird. He always urges to get out, but he's totally cool with going back in. Um, I'm worried we might get attacked again by some wild Pokemon or, or something. I know it's too much for me to ask, but do you think you could see us back to town? Okay. There's nothing to do in here, so why not? We can't exactly go across the bridge anymore. Thanks, Nebby. I want my Litten. Give me my fire cat. Hey, Brennan. Looks like you missed the Kahuna, yeah? But you found my assistant. Oh, yeah. Looks like you already met, but just in case, this is my assistant. Oh, um, yes, you can call me Lily. And Lily, this is Brennan. He just moved here to Aloha. Take good care of him. 
What, you coming with me? <laughs> so you're also one of the professor's acquaintances. It's nice to meet you. The Kahuna is back! Kahuna Hala has returned! Our guardian's chosen. Our guardian's chosen one is back! Only one of the strongest Pokemon users in all the world, yeah! Oh. Was that. Was that Kukui saying that? I don't know, the yeah threw me off. <laughs> Getting into the voice. Have I... No. Wait. Wrong. Have I missed something? No. How do I do this? <laughs> oh, have I missed something? Nah, but... Where'd you go off to, Kahuna? I thought we were meeting here. I am Kahuna of this island, after all. Whenever there is a problem on the island, it is my duty to resolve it. Sorry, Lily. What were you saying before? For some reason, I thought I saw Tapu Koko flying about. Where did you hear that? What, when, when did she say this to you? It just happened. Oh, um, yes, Kahuna Hala. Maybe he was being attacked by Spiro on the plank bridge when this boy helped to get away. But the bridge collapsed, and I thought both of them... And I thought both of them fall, wait. And I thought both of them might fall to the bottom of the ravine. And that was when the island's guardian deity swooped to save them. I just said guardian deity. <laughs> God, I can imagine it now. Woo, that's something you don't hear every day. Don't be happy about that, I almost died. Ha <laughs> ha. Although it's said to protect us, our Tapu Koko is a rather fickle creature, yet our guardian was moved to save you. Kukui, my boy, I think we have a cause to celebrate. It seems I shouldn't trust this brave and kind young boy with a Pokemon of his own. I said Pokemon in such a British accent. We'll make a fine trainer out of him. Not a bad British accent, but a British accent nonetheless. I'm, I'm glad to meet you, child. I'm Hollow, the Kahuna of Mele Mele Island. Welcome to Alola. Young Kukui had told me of your coming. I'm glad to... I'm glad we got a chance to meet today. Come, my Pokemon. Let's have a look at you. I want it. The, the middle one. Give it. Get, get, get that one. That that one. First is the grass-type Pokemon. Rowl it. Cool. Next is a fire-type Pokemon. Litten. Yeah, yeah. Meow. And that's the water type Pokemon, Poplio. Bark. Bark, bark. Poplio, calm down. You are a seal. Or a sea lion. You are not a dog. If you were, you and Litten would have an even worse rivalry. That would be quite the trio, though. A dog attacks the cat that attacks the bird. Oh my god! The typings make sense! Which Pokemon do you choose as your partner? Immediately this one. No question. We choose the fire type Pokemon Litten. Yes. We chose Litten. Do I want to name it? Oh. Only when you both have chosen each other can you truly call each other partners. Oh. Awesome. Wag, waggle. So let us see if little Litten also decides to choose you. He's like, what's this kid doing? Litten is staring at you with some curiosity. Really? Because I see no change in emotion at all. He looked like he said no for a second. Lily's like, oh god. What's happening? Oh, you ran to me! I love it! No, Sylvania! <laughs> you lifted Witten gently in your arms. 
Moir. The fire type Pokemon Witten is sniffing at your, your at you curiously. Oh, so Litten has accepted you as well, Brendan. Having accepted one another, you'll surely be friends for life. Would you like to give Litten a nickname? Do I? Do I want to nickname things? I kind of want to nickname things to make it interesting, but I'm crap with nicknames. I don't know. What do I name a cat? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. It's a new Pokemon game. I don't know if I want to nickname anything. Save that for a week, Nuzlocke. Witten has been added to your party. Yes. Yes, he has. Nice to meet you, Litton. Pew, pew, pew. That joke won't get old, at least for me. Oh, when did you get out again? I know that Kahuna Hollow and the Professor will keep you safe from harm, but you should still stay in the bag and out of sight. So why have those three people back there not noticed that there's a Cosmog here? Or do they know? Do the Iki Town, do the members of Iki Town know? It, it's safer that way. I think you should. You chose a wonderful Pokemon. Please take very good care of it. That's it, Brendan. Now that you've got a Pokemon, you're a real Pokemon trainer, yeah. And here's a lovely gift for me to help you make it a special occasion. How do you make it special, cousin? The Pokédex. A Pokédex is a really high-tech kind of tool, yeah. That can automatically record facts about any Pokemon that you meet. Your new partner, Litten, is already registered. Oh yeah, so check it out. The trainer passport. And this is a trainer passport that I had put together for you. Now why don't you go introduce your new friend to your mom, Brandon? I want to look at him. This is my buddy. This is my little buddy. <gasps> yes! I don't care if your speed is crap, but you have an attack boosting nature. I'll take the brave nature. Because like... Then again, your speed is one of your most defining features. I would have rather had like special defense or defense down because that I don't care about. But a physical nature is good. Okay. Now, since I know what happens after this and we've been going for 33 minutes, I'm going to stop this episode here. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all later.